the workers who put their lives at risk shift after shift. Fun. Coming up. Calm down, dude. Can Repo Man Ron escape the wrath of a madman who has trouble written all over his face? Get him out, Bobby. Get out of here with your cheap ass suit. Then, when process server Byron climbs the social ladder, stupid son of a bitch, will he take a tumble? How dare you speak that way to me? Now listen to me. You're gonna have to move that baby. Meter maid Jackie has a bad hair day. You want dirty dreadlocks? Why do you call it a dirty dreadlock? And later, I am here to deliver some balloons. Byron gets an invitation he just can't refuse. Well, let's just have a f-ing party. Oh, God, come on now. That's all right now on All Worked Up. Don't hit him, Bobby. Don't hit him, Bobby. Don't hit him, Bobby. Just calm down, I'm Ron, and I'm the owner of Lizard Lick Tone and Recovery in North Carolina. What do you have lined up for today? I got that guy on the tow truck we've been chasing. He keeps it locked up in the fence. You sound about the one the lien holder called me up and said, this guy's a total freak. Every night he's been in the fence, he's not bringing it out. So why don't we set him up? You know, this guy drives a tow truck, and he buys junk cars for a living. So it don't take somebody that can make homemade biscuits to figure out then all you gotta do is get him to your house to buy a car and a truck, and it's yours. I'll see if my buddy let us shoot his house again. Uh-huh. We'll go over there, we'll call him, tell him we got a junk car, let him drive up, take his truck. Yeah, right, I don't know, know where I... this is going. Ronnie's plans always have Ronnie doing the easy stuff and always got Bobby dealing with the mad, angry, upset, pissed off people. This will work. I'm telling you, come on, we'll go put this out. Amy, we're gonna go. Thank God, you're doing something. I'm getting it again, Amy. Let's little, if we sit down and plan this out, it'll be priceless. Bobby ain't happy about nothing but watching Grey's Anatomy and going to bed. We're gonna set up at my buddy's house. When he comes up, we're gonna try to get him to park out on the street, so you gotta get out there and kind of flag him down. Walk him around to the back of the house like the vehicle's in the back. We used a friend's place because of the location it was in. It was one way in, one way out. We could see him coming. It was just a perfect setup. When you walk him around to the back of the house, I'll come out the front door and I'm hoping he leaves his keys in his car. If it's there, I'm gonna drive off. You ought to be able to handle this guy. I have heard this story so many times before. If you're scared, you can get in my back pocket. This is gonna work. You get him right here, when he gets right here. He's gonna be like WTF and he's gonna go off on me. By that time, you're going to see me driving off with this vehicle. And if I don't, then I'm back here stuck. I'm going to be the one to say this. This ain't going to work. Let me call him right now. Hello? Hey, buddy. I saw a sign up on the highway that you buy junk cars. What you got? I got a 1997 Olds Cutlass. Where you at? I'm located at Wendell, right off the main drag across from the elementary school. Sounds good. I'll see you in about 45 then. Thank you, sir. Oh, look at these pretty little pink flowers. Bo, this is gonna work. Let me go ahead and get one, cause I know I'm getting ready to be somebody's bitch. Oh man, it's some Mad Max looking dude. Bobby, me, me. He been eating me, dynamite. Me, me, get outside, get him. Toe up, what's up man? The tire's pumped up, she's ready to go. Made some of cutlass? Yeah man. I'm out here behind the building. It's right around here man, right, right around the corner. Bo, there ain't no keys, ain't no keys, Bobby, there ain't no keys. Keys. I mean, when he saw the junk car wasn't there, he immediately triggered something's up. What's up? You know, what's going on? And I was trying to stall as best I could, but I could tell he was getting agitated. I mean, your truck's up for repo, dude. Well, you and you take ain't a truck. I mean, you know your truck's up. I can't help you. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I won't take your truck. I promise. I will not take your truck. All right? All right. We cool with that? Well, when I realized the keys weren't in there, I didn't doubt my plan. I was doubting the outcome. <laughs> Bull man, you calling me out here, set me up there, think I got some money coming in? Like I said, I promise you, I'm not taking your truck, but my partner's getting it right now. What? My partner's getting it right now. Run it! Run it! He's coming! Golly. Hey, 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 dude, calm down. Calm down. Dude, dude, dude calm down. Dude, calm down. Dude, calm, calm down, dude, calm down. Shut up. Oh, I got his key. Oh, son, which key is it? Forward, forward, forward. Come on, baby. Come on, come on baby. Come on. Help Bobby, Brandon. Hey, bitch. My f***ing girlfriend. The 
cat chases Ron. I'm like, yes, no. Cause then the cat comes around and comes back to Bobby. Cause Ron's gone and Bobby's left there once again and he's really pissed off cause he ain't got no ride. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Come on, come on. Come on, Bobby. Come on, come on, come on. Go to f you See you, buddy. What did I tell you for this one now? Dumb idea. Dude, that mother like took my head off. How you let him get to me like that? I told you when he pulled up, man. It was like a tattooed Hercules. Dude, that mug's whole side of his head was tattooed. That won't like a tattoo on his face. What I'm worried about is this guy coming to the lot, man. I sure am dread naming having to deal with that right there, bro. That boy right there looked mean enough to run a bulldog off the back of meat wagon at lunchtime. Coming up, will the tattooed titan get through to Amy? And for Byron, it's lifestyles of the rich and furious. Get out of here with your cheap ass suit. Calm down, dude. Calm down. I sure am dreading Amy having to deal with that right there, bro. Man, it's like a tattoo, Hercules. Just you know, we're not gonna go do any more repos until this guy shows up, cause I know he's coming, cause we got all this stuff. Uh -huh. You need to stay behind the glass and behind the door. No heroics today, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna watch you on the camera if he shows up. You try to deal with him. I'm gonna post Bobby up outside. Amy, I'm telling you, this guy's a lunatic. Right? Yeah. He's walking up the road. You gotta try to keep him calm. Okay. Bobby, don't let him see you. We had just pulled up, and he almost beat us back to the lot. I hadn't even had time to inventory or itemize his property yet. Excuse me? Where the hell's my truck? You boys came and took my truck a little while ago. You know, I took my truck, my phone was in it, my wallet well, was in it. Well, you know, the bad, okay, I understand that it's your property. We Listen have to prop. Bitch. Uh, I've been a but I'm not that one. You're just gonna have to Why calm down. Why you boys that took my damn truck in? Well, you know what? You know what? You need to just leave because that's enough. That is enough. I'm sick. No, I don't think so. not, no. That boy you know what? I've dealt with a lot of bigger and badder individuals, and he wasn't getting anywhere with me. I'm sorry that that took place, but do you know what your payment is like? You know what? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, calm down, bitch. Whatever. Look, calm down. That, What's calm, another guy? The guy that jumped me on the he, he ain't around here, buddy. Then you need to calm down, bro. Ain't no need to tear out stuff. What's that other boy? Right. He ain't around here, bro. He left. But you need to calm down, bro, because I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be in your best interest to stay jacked up like this. Because I know what you're thinking. I know how your mind's working right now. I can see you, big man. But jumping on me right now is a lot like masturbation. Sounds like a pretty good idea to you get done and realize you just screwed yourself. Get him out, Bobby. Get him out. Bobby, Bobby, hold. I'm telling you, both. You can't whoop both of us. You can't whoop both of us. Don't hit him, Bobby. Don't hit him, Bobby. Don't hit him. Don't hit him, Bobby. 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 You are no longer the big lizard, that's the big lizard. And you know what? You didn't handle it's that well. Y'all's clean up. That's clean because y'all done went in there and stirred the pot. And he came in here hot. I cleaned up last one. Yeah, I did I too. Up. I had nothing to do with making the mess. This was all them. They want to act like a bunch of silly boys, they can clean up like them. Go pick up. She still thinks she's tough like no, she used to be. You know what the problem is? She lives with you and she hears your stupid ideas and so then she's starting to live them. Oh, don't turn this on me. I ain't the one that tried to chill them down. But I, I, I'll scare you. If I thought that big boy was getting ready to take and make me three, if I was not mistaken, I believe you drug him out by his dog collar. <laughs> you take the papers. I don't want them. My name is Byron Miguel Drew Process Server in New York City. I'm searching for a woman named Leona Eastwood. She's an upper-class Manhattanite. She just went through a nasty divorce. Her ex-husband is suing her for credit card bills and outstanding debts. She's still spending up his money on this and that and baubles. Good gracious, that's why I'm not married. I have an address. Posh neighborhood, doormans, top hats and heels. 
It's already personal to me now because she obviously has more money than I do. All right, I'm right outside the apartment. I have the photograph. I'm gonna hang out here for a while and see if anyone comes out of there that fits this description of this woman. Hey, that looks like her. She just jumped in the cab. Now this has turned into a high-speed chase with a yellow cab. They have no respect on the road. This guy's driving like a bat out of hell. I'm stuck in the line. I'm gonna lose them. Get move that garbage scout. Damn, lost them. I can't believe this. I'm gonna pull over and call her ex-husband, Mr. Eastwood, to see if he has any idea where she's going. Listen, I lost her. We clapped her. Uh, that's why I called you. Do you have any idea where she might have went? All the woman does is shop. Find the most expensive store where she could be spending my money and go there. She's probably at Tiffany's right this minute. Okay. I'm find her today. Every day that she's out there, she's spending thousands of dollars of my money. Okay, you got it. I mean, she was running through this man's money like she wanted to stick it to him. You know what I'm saying? My heart immediately went out to this guy. I said, I got to get this, this woman. <laughs> We got to put an end to this. Nice shoes. Here I am outside of Tiffany. I wait to see if she comes out, goes in or whatever. The place is huge, I forgot. How are you, how's everything? Good, good, good. On second thought, I could show the picture around. It's a great way to pick up chicks. <laughs> Go figure, there she is. There she is. I gotta wait for her to come out. I don't wanna spook her. There she is. Okay, I'm going to approach her, but I got to be respectful. She looks like a lady. I don't want to startle her. Leona! Leona Eastwood, I got a court order for you from your ex-husband to stop shopping. At least with his money here. I'm sorry. Who do you I, work my, my name is Byron McElroy, and I have legal papers regarding your financial arrangement with your ex-husband. You better read this. No, come on, give me a break. Listen, you need to, t you need to take no, those papers. No, you need to go away and leave me alone. The rich in this land, most of them are not used to being confronted by anyone. So when it happens, they usually don't know how to behave. But almost certainly, you catch them with their pants down, so to speak. You stupid Please, son of a bitch, what? what kind of job is this? To go around harassing innocent people. Listen, I'm just a lowly servant, I'm nobody. Come on, give me a minute. See, see all these people are looking, listen. You gotta answer this. I don't have to do anything. Okay, I understand. You have to stop following me. Okay, listen, you're a smart woman. You didn't get where you at, not knowing what time oh, it is. The see, judge. There it is. There it is. Right. You gotta go down. You're jealous no. of where I'm at. Jealous. Well, honey, I listen. Do not spend another dime of your ex-husband's money. I'm telling you. Listen. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Okay, to. Listen, you don't want to. Just, just leave me alone. Just leave. I'm get gonna get out of here with your cheap ass suit and your sneakers. I look good that day. I don't want my best suits. This is a $400 like, suit, listen, what are you talking four, about? Oh, oh please. Just, just, I could have been a security, I could have been a dignitary, or I could have been a mogul down there. That's how I looked good that day. I have been harassed and followed. I didn't want to serve you in front of all those aristocrats. Now, give me a break. I don't, I don't have if to deal. Stop I don't need now. to deal with a piece of trash. Piece like of trash? Yourself. How dare you speak what that way to me? Now, listen to me. How dare I speak I'm to you? I'm trying to help you. How dare you speak to me that listen, way? Listen, listen, take the paper. Get him, please, get him, please. Now, I'm going to put in the report that you were you know, listen. I'm going to put in the report that you were served at 1:52 p.m. I'm going to put in the report. No, no, you, no, no, you stop acting. You, you stop it. Then you stop it. Just just just, okay, that's die. You don't have to sign anything. Just please, don't spend another dime. I think he's. I think you're all. I know my ex-husband is. You'd be surprised how many people's off the rocker. Uptown, downtown, east side, west side. Rich or poor, you can get served. Damn it! She need to go seek advanced psychiatric counseling. That's what she needs. Coming up. You gonna have to move that baby. Will meter maid Jackie's parking citations stop her from giving off good vibrations? I'm gonna call the cops. Yeah, call the cops. And later. I'm having a party tonight. Byron meets a real party pooper. Well, let's have a party. Oh, my God, come on. 
why don't you stick it up your ass? I'm Jackie Pucci, and I'm a meter maid in Southern California. People around here park all over the place. They don't care where they're parking. Every day, you don't know what's gonna happen. Unbelievable. Excuse me, hey. Oh no, you're gonna have to move that baby. You need to move that right now, baby. No, no, move. Hey, you, you. Now we just you. got some shoe boxes. And you're gonna have yeah. something else to take with you, baby. Here. No, they legally parked. Unloading the little Chevy. Come on, dirty hey, dreadlocks. You can't be doing that. What do you call a dirty dreadlock? Nah, it's fat overload. Let me see that ticket. It's two hundred eighty dollars. You can come and get it. We ain't paying that. Hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. You think because you throw the ticket down and you throw it away, you ball it up, or whatever, stick it up your rear, whatever, it still will be another copy on the way to you in the mail. Just leave, bud. Is this your car? This is my neighborhood. This is Jackie Pucci's neighborhood. If you don't want a ticket, do not block the intersection. Go ahead. Get the people why do locals just think they can park where they want? They have a lot of nerve, a lot of balls. I think that's a fake ass wig on her head, too. Oh, look at this. I mean, I don't know what the heck they're doing, but look at that sign. It says, no stopping anytime, tow away. Whoever it is, deserve a ticket. Hey, where the hell did you come from? I didn't see anybody in that car. over to get my keys. What's your problem? What do you mean, bending over to get your keys? Get keys. Did what's you forget? Before you bend, did you not see what that sign? What's your problem? No, no. What's your problem? Look at the way you park right problem. here. Look at this. You are 18 inches from the curb. Obviously, you can't read. It's not 18 inches from the curb. Look, I got a oh, sign. No, it's not 18 inches from the curb. Look, Look at that. Look how much room you got. I got a classic car. I got nice stuff. You in call the this a classic? And you giving me a ticket? You, you call that a classic? I call that a disaster. You know what? I'm not paying this. And I bent over to get my keys. You, what what, you sure you were getting keys and not a I bottle of wine? You been You've been it. drinking. I can smell it. Drink? You stink. You've been drinking. Go on. Yeah, oh, you're going to get all comfortable now, huh? Yeah, I'm going to get comfortable. I mean, how are you going to give me a ticket? Here, let me see this. Here, here, give me this. If you don't. Here. Hey. Damn it. You know what? You want a ticket? You want a free ticket? Anybody out here want a free You want a free ticket? Huh? Why don't you go bother somebody else? Why are you bothering me? You're killing me. You I'm going to call the cops on you. Yeah, call the cops. I'm call calling the cops. the cops. You may have you. my ticket book, but I got your plate. Yeah, don't worry about the ticket book. So fine, take the ticket book. You can do my job. Hell, come back and get the uniform. Come back and get the damn car. You're going to go down. Oh, is that the best you can do? People are paying in the book. Is that the best you can do? Be happy you ain't in the game. You can keep the damn car. Here, pay that one while you at it. Oh, that's your ticket, too. When you retire. The same day you, you stop getting tomorrow. drunk. You are an alcoholic. Aki, Aki. Hey, don't worry about it. Here, let's help him out. Idiot. These are some of the perks of the job. You have to deal with drunks. You can smell the alcohol coming off his breath. What a complete fool. But at least I got my book back intact. A little trashy, but it's still intact. I'm on my way to survey 37 male and Nathan Gray. Seems he had his own business, went bankrupt, and he's been hiding. I got a tip that he's working at some kind of a party store. There it is right there. It's called the Paper House. <laughs> I'm gonna do some snooping around. Hang back. We gotta be inconspicuous. Low key. Excuse me. I'm looking for Nathan Gray. Is he here now? No, he's one of our delivery guys, so he doesn't really work in the store. I'll catch up with him. Don't worry. Thanks. Thanks a lot. He's in the business of delivering party supplies. Fine. I'm going to throw my own party. It's no sense me going to the store 25 times trying to catch him. You get him to come to you. I'm on a whole lot of stuff and have it sent to the apartment. <laughs> this guy doesn't know the party's on him. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get up. Will Byron's party plans blow up in his face? My good jacket. He's in the business of delivering party supplies? Fine, I'm gonna throw my own party. I'm gonna make him come to me. Hey, there you are. All right. I'm having a soiree. I got the honeys. Bubbly on ice. Great. Well, you got balloons you know, if now, If you're not dude. doing nothing, you can come in. Pardon? You're Nathan, right? Nathan Gray? Nathan the Balloon Boy. Okay. Okay, I got your money. 
I also got something else for you. This is a summons from Avacom about that $125,000 you lost. This is a summary proceeding. What are you talking you gotta about? answer it. I am here to deliver some balloons. Just well, take your hats and take your you, balloons. Okay, okay, I got the, you take the summons. No, I'm not taking any summons. I mean, this guy was about 150 pounds soaking wet. I didn't expect that response from him. I got hats! I got no, hats! Listen, listen, These I, your hats. I came here. These your hats. I, I don't care about that. What I care. Here, have some. Are you, Blow are you, points listen. and streamers, man. Listen, listen relax. Relax yes. yourself. You're having a party, right? No, no, You're no. having a party. Well, let's just have a party. Oh, God, come on now. My neighbors, they know who I am. They know what I do. So I'm not, I wasn't worried about any kind of backlash or anything. Give me those balloons. I just paid you for those balloons. Give me my balloons back. This is only going to go one way. Calm, you calm down. You get the back here, man. Yeah, come on. You this check, is calm nice. down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, my goodness. You got to be. Are you out of your mind? You're out of your mind. What is that? He had silly string balloons, bladder racks, and some items that I forgot all about, but it was irrelevant. The fact of the matter is he was served. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you much. Thank you. Come on. You know you're not supposed to be you. Nathan. Now, come on, now. Give me a break. Get out of the neighborhood. Can't believe oh, my It's my dear. good jacket. Oh, no, he's coming. Dude, calm, calm down, dude. Calm down. Calm down. You know what? You need to just leave. Get him out, okay. Get him out, Bobby. Get him out. Get out of here with your cheap ass suit. Just for four hundred dollars suit. What are you talking? Four hundred. Anybody out here want a free ticket? That's the best you can get. Be happy you ain't in the game. What the is this? Listen, you're having a party. Well, let's just have a party. Oh, come on now.